Hi everybody, welcome. Hi Linda and Linda and Diane. Welcome guys. Hi. Hello, hello. Rushing around this morning, keeping the doggy quiet. Stopping the kitty from meowing. <laughs> hello Alicia. Down there. Writing down colours. Not that this one's going to be a colour conversion as such. This one will probably more likely just be a colour list for patrons. Hi Rochelle, welcome. Hi Ghislaine, welcome. Hi Kathy, welcome guys. Come in. So uh, today I've got a couple of books to flip through and uh, we're going to do a chameleon colouring. I haven't done, I've only done two I think since I've had them. So I thought why not, let's have a go. So that will be fun. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, is it Just Lane? <laughs> Just Lane? Sound is okay here? Hi Kenny, welcome. Come in, come in peoples, welcome. It's uh, daylight savings here, so you may have noticed it seems like it's an hour later than normal. If you're not, you don't have daylight savings because uh, we're coming into summer soon. <laughs> no problems. Oh, you have, Linda? I haven't got them. I didn't get them. Hi, Dusty. Welcome. Hi, Mia. Welcome. You guys seen my witchy coven that I've started? I posted them all, um, four of them already, online. And having some fun with them actually. And I just started my fifth one, this one. So she's just been started. Fun. Hi, Bev. Welcome. Um, so I've done already the Wicked one. By Ennis, and then uh, they get a little bit smaller because I've got 12 to do, so. And then the Black Crystal Witch. And I just finished the Halloween one Halloween Tea Party. So, um, so this is number five, uh, but this is uh, a, an event that's going on in Ennis Guerrero's group. I've still got He Cat, the Coloring Heaven special. Uh, I think that was the Grey Witch, the Moon Witch, the Oracle of the Forest, and uh, Liz the Good Witch. Excuse me, that's my front door. And I'm back. Goodies not for me, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, that's my witch coven. <laughs> Hi, Lulu. How are you going? 
Um, bummer. Bummer. It wasn't for me. That's all right. I've got three books to go through here. So uh, the first one I'll just run through quickly and then we'll concentrate on Nathaniel Wakes. Um, I did order this quite a while ago. It's pre-order and I got it in the mail. I think uh, I've seen DD flip through it already. But uh, it's the same as the other journal one. I can't remember what it was called, so I'm just looking. It's the same as this one, except obviously this one's about whimsical girls. And um, I've deconstructed that and put it into a journal already. And this is the uh, Whimsical Wild, which has got animals in it. Hi, Jo Beth, welcome. I know, Mia, it wasn't for me. Hi, Mousy Dev, welcome. So upset. Oh, you are, Kathy? Oh, I plan on doing all 12. The only one I haven't got at this stage is the Apprentice, Little, Little Witch Apprentice. Um, I think it is, so that one I'll have to purchase to finish the 12 off a lot of hard work hi pat welcome hi cassandra welcome guys come in so uh this is made from this is they're all uh removable so they've got perforated um a perforated edge they've all got different types of paper so at the start here uh, she talks about the paper Coloring paper, this is smooth wood free paper, wonderful for pencils, pens and other dry media. Craft paper, this is coloured paper, looks great with pencil, marker, paint pens, gouache, acrylic paint. The colours leap out on the tone paper and it will wrinkle if it gets wet so uh, just be aware of that. Mixed media, slightly heavier smooth wood free paper can take a little bit more marker without bleeding through. It's great for most media again it's not intended for wet media so go lightly with watercolor it's got watercolor paper which is heavy weight paper fabulous for watercolors and inks and uh, whatever you want to use it for collage paper is a lightweight origami style paper you can pull it out cut it tear it use it as collage paper glue it down uh, it basically will glue down with matte medium and there's also stickers so there you go So, <laughs> so these ones are all colouring paper. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? Um, and it's designed to be a art journal. So you could pull it apart and put it inside another journal or you could just use it as a journal itself. It's up to you. This is all colouring paper. Still colouring paper. It's pretty cute. I really like it. I love the little animals. They're really cute. You know, I'm an animal lover, so why wouldn't I? Here's a book link too. Uh, I got this one on Amazon. Hi Megan, welcome. More colouring paper. Oh, so it's just cute. Oh, <laughs> colouring paper still. Giraffe wisdom. Stay above the drama. Stretch yourself. Stick your neck out. Enjoy the view and stand tall. Very cute. Lots of little um, sayings and pictures, coloured and uncoloured. Still on colouring paper at the moment. My best friend is the one who brings out the best in me. Cute. It is so cute, isn't it, Linda? I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, it's a lot more like me than the whimsical girls. I think I'm... I love animals. Oh, well done, Mia. <laughs> good job. Sleep is good for us. I actually took uh, my tablets earlier this morning because uh, hubby went out on a job early this morning and uh, I thought 
I've been having trouble keep getting Nani to go back to sleep after he leaves, but um, she actually slept and I couldn't fall back to sleep. How frustrating is that? This is kind of cool. I like this one. Oh, I love pandas. Big cats, pandas, dogs, all of them. Ooh, a crocodile. Gator wisdom. Grow a thick skin. Don't get snappy. Lie in wait and be patient. Take care of your teeth and smile. <laughs> oh no, is she okay, Mia? Nani has a vet appointment this afternoon. Needles. That's cute. Lama, 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 lama. Keep the drama for your art. Oh, it's a hippo. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> um, Megan, it said at the start that it's smooth wood free paper takes pencils pens and other dry media so it says i think you could use pastels on it um oh no i'm glad she's better though um probably not watercolor you probably won't have any movement on the paper so this is all coloring paper so far and this is a craft paper it's quite thin um, as she said, it does wrinkle. Um, she thinks it adds to character, though. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Welcome. I haven't seen you for ages. I love it. Look at it. Ah, it's so cute. Oh, look at that. I've got all these long nails and then this one short one. Broke. It broke. And here, too, look. This one, it broke right at the skin. <laughs> what happens on the weekends rue wisdom and let your heart skip hop to it jump for joy and leap into love feeling prickly rather than feeling lost let yourself be found is that what it says i don't know what that says let hmm I think that is an F. <laughs> Everyone needs a sidekick. Wombat. I helped my friend raise a wombat. They're so cute. Koala. Okay, so this one is mixed media paper. So this one's for pretty much anything. She did say to be careful with wet media. It doesn't take it extremely well. That's so pretty. Flamboyancy makes life interesting. Do again. Butterflies. Make your own rainbow. This is beautiful macaw there. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> no worries. Sean, have a good rest. We'll see. Oh, ladybug. I had to play with the... Um, this is a watercolour paper now. I had to play with the ink tents ones that uh, Kenny gave me last week on here um, it's not finished yet but I did a base layer it's pretty cool it wrinkles a little bit it's not like fabulous but it didn't um, peel or anything so that was good even with the skin there's a few layers on the skin it didn't peel so it did wrinkle a bit see can that see that's wrinkly but um I think uh, if it's in a book and you're closing it back up, it'll flatten out pretty quickly. Aww.
<laughs> Sloth wisdom. Hang around your loved ones. Eat slowly. Take your time. Sleep and love the trees. Night, Sean. And there's a little message from Jane. Now, these are the collage papers. There's two in there. Is that it this time? And these are the stickers. So I really love this red riding hood one. And the panda. Look at the panda. Very cute. So that's that one. Beautiful. <laughs> so I'll pop that link up again. Hi, Heather. Welcome. That was the Whimsical Wild by Jane Davenport. The other one that I did was Whimsical Gir Whimsical Girls, uh, which I deconstructed and put into a a um, a journal. That was the first one, Pat. We um we couldn't get the second one. I'll have to order that one from here <laughs> at some stage. So um. Nathaniel Wade got in touch with me again and uh, he's got two new books out. Oh, this one's kind of weird, feels weird. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know, velvety. This one's shiny, this one's not shiny. How cool is that? <laughs> anyway, um, so I thought we would colour an image from one of these books and of course it has to be Halloween related. Um, and I wanted to give the chameleons a go again. Now the chameleons take a little while so I probably won't get it finished today but it um, be great to have a go. So these two books, Legends of the Wild and Mythical Forest. I have links for both of them on Amazon. Mythical Forest and Legends of the Wild. Uh, both uh, purchased from Amazon. I've done a little bit of a review. Make sure you review. If you ever buy stuff off Amazon, leave a review um, because it helps the artist and it helps when it comes to searching. Like when people search different words, uh, the reviews help for those things to come up. So it helps with sales and things like that. So uh, let's go through the Legends of the Wild. A little bit different to what uh, he's done before. It is done on Amazon paper, so it is create space. Well, I don't know if it still creates space, but it is that thin paper. Um, you can uh, get a digital edition, of course. Oh, app friendly. All the bits are in here, of course. Here we go. This book belongs to. Now these images in this one. <laughs> just say it's good. You like it. <laughs> oh, you do, Linda? I need it too. Uh, I have to get it. See if I can find it cheap somewhere. Uh, this book belongs to. These ones are all kind of hand drawn. The back of the pages are black. Uh, so if you do use marker or anything, uh, it does. It, well, you have to put a, something under here to stop it from bleeding through to these pages, but uh, you can't actually see it. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I I like the PDF. So I've got PDFs as well. Test area. All right. So these are kind of hand drawn. They're like sketches. I really like them. Um. They're all animals that are, I don't know, people. <laughs> people animals. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Animal adult coloring books. So they're actually people, but animals. <laughs> How do you explain that? <laughs> awesome, Lulu. I actually, I could go um, something to... I could go a cup of tea, actually. That would be good. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're drawn uh, by pencil and then they've been put into a book. They're absolutely beautiful, actually. They're really well done, really detailed. Um, he did tell me he's working on a new book, which is coming out again soon. So that's cool. We might have that on for Christmas. 
Um, so yeah, they're animals, but they're people. Human-like animals? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I got the PDF as well, so I can print it on my own paper. That's what this one is here. And uh, I cropped the image so that it would fit on my whole page too, so I don't like to leave the gap. He's cool. She's cool. I can hear a helicopter. Oh, isn't he cute? I love froggies. froggies. <laughs> Ooh, is it a monkey, an ape, gorilla, one or the other? Yay! Well, I'm actually an hour later, probably, for you guys, because uh, it's daylight savings here, so... Oh, the police are cop following someone. <laughs> hey there. Is it cricket? Oh, he's a bunny rabbit. Actually, he's probably a hare. Now, we had to put our clocks forward. So, I don't know. Earlier. Yeah? Is it early for you guys? I don't know. Who knows? Oh, speaking of frog sharpeners, um, I've got 140 people to go to get to 5K subscribers. So uh, I still have my little froggy sitting there for giveaways. I reckon, do you know what's really funny? I reckon it'll be Christmas time. And guess what happened last Christmas? Last Christmas we celebrated 3,000 subscribers. So that's cool. I'm not sure what she is. Chipmunk? Almost there, I know, Go Beth. So close. Goes up and down. <laughs> Lion. So yeah, is human like animal a good a good um description for these ones? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. Did you want to see them quickly again? <laughs> I just started number four, number five, sorry. This is number five. She's coming along. That was number one. Number two. I really like the snake on that one. It was hard to do, but it's a little picture, so. Number three. She's cute. And number four. I really like that one. I think she came up awesome. I really like the bright colours. So, uh, started on five. Still got uh, seven to go after that. <laughs> it's all good. We can do it. Uh, I've also done videos for patrons. So, um, when, uh, when, <laughs> when I finished those four, I'll squish them into just... Um, just raw videos and I'll post them all up on Patreon for patrons too so uh, I won't do colour lists or anything because there's going to be 12 of them so that's just going to take me far too long but if you want to see what I did I uh, will be putting those raw videos up on Patreon I'll try and get a few up today actually I've, I've got a limit on my uh, Vimeo um, ho ho like my hosting site for <laughs> videos there's actually like a 20 um, gig limit per week so I'll try to get as many as I can up without going over the limit can you do mine no <laughs> oh my idea was too I was thinking I might make a book out of them uh, I don't know an index of witches I don't know yet I put them all into a book and make it all fancy and maybe I'll I'll make a 
find an old witch book and deconstruct it a bit and add some pages in. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> black heart is for witches witches are black hearts aren't they well there are some good witches but <laughs> yeah I think it would be cool we can uh, distress the pages and make it look spooky looking I don't know. it probably cost a fortune to buy some sort of Wiccan book anyway wouldn't it it might not be uh, cost effective <laughs> but I can have a look I might be able to find one somewhere old second hand who knows you're a good witch to be so is your heart purple then I don't know white white heart oh he's cool not quite a ninja turtle <laughs> Oh, hello, Nani. These are cool, aren't they? They're all warriors, I've just noticed. So that could be why it's called Legends of the Wild, because they're like warriors. And then there's some bonus images there as well from his other books. The pages are actually quite thick. I thought they were thin, but because they're black on... It's like... I don't know. It just seems thicker, maybe. Oh, good. Got a couple of uh, pretty little things at the back there. So that was Legends of the Wild. <laughs> uh, a Belinda original. I think Linda's got a Belinda original. How many Linda? <laughs> uh, this one is the magical forest, mythical forest. Sorry, my bad. Blech. I'm reading it, but I'm not reading it. I was looking for the link for it. <laughs> Which one did I give you? A Jasmine Beckett one, yeah? The Christmas one, the two, the twins. This is really cute, this one. This is more in the style of the other books that he has. Actually, this one's probably a little bit more detailed, I think, than the previous ones I've seen. This book belongs to... That's so cute. I like that. It's like a baby group. Doodle test area. Alright, here we go. There's a gnome. Kenny, don't worry. We understand. We understand. Uh, we understand text speech. We get it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at the kitties. This is like a big tree, something, and a puppy dog. <laughs> Looks like a chihuahua. That's very cute. Fairy. These have all got black pages on the back as well. <laughs> I'm so glad, Linda. You know, I just have folders and folders and folders full of um, images. Actually, I was um, speaking of images. I'm putting together, I've got a folder aside to do a... Um, a 2019 recap of all the images I've done and I'm up to like 132 images this year already how cool is that <laughs> hi Christy welcome what's he called a dwarf very cute turtles and little elves tortoise I know Linda it's huge I have so many uh, let me just double check that because I oh I didn't add the witches in there so yeah there's about 130 so far approximately they're cute little mushrooms I love mushrooms oh Kathy your mushrooms turned out awesome too if you're there still <laughs> oh what are these are they goblins of some sort maybe I don't know 
kind of cute though. Oh, ladybug fairies. Okay, a ladybug and fairies. They're riding on a mosquito. So that's why they bite us all the time. <laughs> Unicorn and an elf. Oh, there he is. Mushrooms are cute. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Deb. <laughs> I can't hear you. Keep, keep screaming, you're good. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline, welcome. <laughs> No one can hear you. It's okay. You can just yell to your heart's content. Another tree something. Tree spirit, maybe? I don't know. He's, she's cool. Oh, That's cute. These are pretty. Really pretty. Oh, he's cool. These are good because um, I know that a lot of people don't like to do portraits and you know I do heaps of portraits that's because what that's what everybody asks for <laughs> and uh, a lot of the artists that I like are portraits so hmm. but that's cool he's a rock he reminds me of that guy out of um, Never Ending Story the rock monster some more elves with wolves it is cute. They're pretty good price too for what they are, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure it was eight, eight, um, I don't remember. It was eight ninety nine dollars um, US dollars, I think. Mm -hmm. Just signed me out of um, Amazon. Some sort of goblin, maybe? Orc? I don't know. Alright, let's see how much it was. Oh no, don't drop pastel pencils. Pastel pencils are terrible. <laughs> Bev, good, you've got somebody to colour with. Yeah, that's why, Kenny, um, I like the PDF books. Uh, I'm sorry. It says here that Legends of the Wild is only $6. So, um, yeah, that's this physical book. Um, but if you did buy the physical book, I don't know how much the PDF is, but um, you could pull them apart and scan them. Oh, aren't they cute? Look at these little animals here. They remind me of Baby Groot. Do you know what I just realised? Look, my watch is upside down. <laughs> oh, you did! <laughs> Heather. So much fun. I just don't get time. I mean, look, I've rushed all these witches and um, it's taken me the whole weekend to do four witches. <laughs> oh, hopefully they're okay, Pat. Some fishes. Oh, all nice. And a puppy dog. Oh. I don't know what these are. Some sort of lady serpents. We're looking at some Halloween -y images here. Oh. A mage? It must be. <laughs> These do come in PDFs. <laughs> it must be upside down day. <laughs> I'll just colour everything upside down today. Ah, oh, more gnomes. Some birdies. I don't know what they are. Monkey... monkeys? <laughs> taken two days to get one well that's why I shrunk all mine to these tiny little ones because they're going to be much easier these are the ones I've got left but look at all the details in these some of these grayscales are really detailed those two are that one's not quite so bad and that one's not quite so bad but um 
neither is the other coloring heaven one isn't too bad it's got a bit of detail but these grayscale ones are really detailed they're going to take ages ages <laughs> but um i did them small so i could put them in some sort of book i've got three big ones but the rest are small what is that a tiger person Yeah, I just figured that would take, it would be a lot quicker, uh, Lulu, and I'll get them done. And there's some bonus images at the back of this one too. I think they're the same as the ones in the other book. I think all of the bonus images are the same for every book. That's it. So they do come in PDFs as well. Don't ask me where from. From from the Nathaniel Week website, most likely. Cool. Huh? They're pretty thick. 40, 38 to 38 images, I think, in each book. So, good. Good, good. Okay, I'll give you the links again. Mythical Forest. And also, it's in the description too, guys. So, check it out there. Uh, what I'll do is after the video, I'll go check out where to buy the PDFs from and I'll pop that in the description later on as well. So it's there for you next time. And this is the Jane Davenport one. All right. I printed this one on Nina. Nina. And I'm going to use these fabulous looking markers that the lovely Kathy gave me a long time ago now. It's been a year or so, I think. I've had them for a little while and I think I've done like three images with them. Three or two. I'm not sure actually. No, I've just said that. Oh, I need a colour list. Oh. Just get my colour list out. So I can see what colours look like. Apparently, I don't know what they look like. I cannot find my colour list. I have so many now, it's not funny. Here we go. I just did a quick one with drew it, I hand drew it up. I think I did this one live to test them all. I haven't done another one since then. <laughs> I should probably do that. Cool. I'm going to do skin first. I'm just trying to decide what my base colour will be. Have you guys seen these before? Hi Loretta. Hi Laura. Welcome. Mwah. I'm going to use NU1. I'm going to take the clear one off. And um, topper. Let's top. <laughs> Let's top with NU3. So I've got fawn and bisque. Bisque. And fawn is going on top of bisque. Does she need like some glowing colour in here. I think she does. I think she needs some glowing features in here. Gee, that lasted for ages, that darker colour. I think we'll make make this glowing. I don't know what with yet. Yellow or green maybe. Don't know. Don't know. I need a little bit of a darker colour. I'm going to use some BR2 hot chocolate. 
just a little bit on there not too much that was a really quick really quick um, <laughs> really quick stay that mica it had a really quick stay on the top there that topper <laughs> quick stay <laughs> sorry I'm crazy today in Halloween themed She's pretty ugly, this witch, I tell ya. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I need to put my lids back on. So they don't dry out. Let's do some green. Ah! Actually, I'll keep the... I'll keep the bisque one. I'll use the bisque one with it. Come on, containers. Get to it. Let's keep that bisque one. And let's put some green on there. I'm going to use a YG3. I like that colour. So nice and bright. Oh, hang on, wait. No, we want the topper, don't we? I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Goodness me. I've got the topper YG3 and bisque just a small amount of time there and we're going to put some glowing green color on her nose there let's put a little bit on top of her eyebrows there and uh, she should probably have a little bit on her teeth too, hey? <laughs> there you go, she's got some green on her teeth now. Let's put it on the bottom of her cheek. She's kind of turned away, but I'll put a little bit on both sides there. Cool, huh? Let's do the same on her hand here because uh, she's leaning over that pot, so she's going to have a fair bit of that on her hands. I'm just leaving it on really quickly so I only get a little bit on there because I'm only doing a little bit at a time. Okay, let's put some on her hat too as well. We'll have to put some on her hat. So let's not forget to do that. I think that's all the skin area. A little bit under her neck, under her neck there. Um, all right. Wait, I'll keep this one over here. Yeah, I. it depends on what kind of area you're colouring, Pat. Uh, if you're colouring a really small area, you don't need to leave them on for very long at all. If you're colouring a larger area, you can leave them on a lot longer. Okay. Oh, I think we need a little bit of the hot chocolate. <laughs> Just in the shadow areas. So she doesn't look like she's just flat. <laughs> we give her some shape. Give her a bit of body. There you go. Put some of that under her neck there too. Oh, 
okay. She's looking kind of orange, but that's okay. The N zero N zero. Hang on. N zero is called sand. I might just put a little bit of this over. I'm not going to put a topper on it. I'm just going to cover a little bit over here. Add a bit of that yellow into her skin. It's not quite so pink. That'll do. A bit better. Okay. Yeah. What? Light bulb just went off. <laughs> of green oh we do her hat oh, I've got black I'm trying to decide whether <laughs> black's a hard one I think black works better when you do it onto the lighter colors but um let's just do it this way for now so I've got the YG3 or spring meadow and black which is BK4 and I'm just going to, I'll need to hold it on there a lot longer because it's a lot lighter. Um, so making sure that you put, that's the other thing too. So if you've got darker colors and you're putting lighter into it, it's going to take a little bit longer for uh, that to come through. See, that's already black or starting to go black. So you'll need to leave that on a little bit longer. Actually, my nibs... Just touch that straight. My nib wasn't straight. <clears throat> so starting to turn black. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Leave it on there a bit longer. Marker Queen. Hi, Stacy. Welcome. Just saw you pop in there. This one's already starting to turn. Didn't take very long. I obviously didn't leave it on there very lo long enough. Okay, she's got a green hat. We'll put some of that green on here. Uh, one, two, three, four. About 10 to 15 seconds for the lighter onto the darker. Just kind of using neat now and fill in the hut. This paper is not too bad. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the green on so I can do a couple of those little highlight spots there. Do that one there. If you don't want to do the topper, you could also just come in with the green marker and fill it out too. How's that? Pretty cool. Oh, how is that? Now with these, you do have to turn it around. So if you're going from light to dark like I just did, you need to make sure that you start from the lighter surface and work your way back to the darker. Or the opposite way around if you're using dark on light. Uh, I think we'll do the same here, but I'm actually going to use... A little bit of the YG Spring Meadow just first down on here. I want this to be a little bit lighter than because it's right really close to this 
really close to the cauldron so I want it to be quite light and then we'll um, and then we'll blend it out with the black and the green so just so we're getting a nice glow so I got the topper again and the black Very cool. <laughs> but they work better when you know what you're doing. Of course they do. Okay, so this is starting to get dark. Now we want to go back into the black. My black nibs kind of beaten up a bit because I've used it a lot. <laughs> oh well. If you have trouble doing it this way and it's not working quite like you want it, let's do it the other way. So let's put the black one away. And let's get the green and the black topper and let's do it the opposite way remembering that this is a lot darker so we don't need to leave it on the marker long to get the same results sure let's do one two three four five look it's already green I think we're better off just moving down there. Two, three, four, five. So you don't have to have it on there nearly as long, do you? One, two, three. Two, three. Try that again. I just want the black marker. Where did it go? Let's just fill in this top section here. I think I'm going to need to change the nib on the black. So it got really rough. It's all frayed. But um, as I said, I've used it quite a bit. So. It cannot be helped. So here I want to come in with the spring. Meadow. Oh, hang on. Wait. No, I don't. Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. I was using the clear. Spring Meadow. And um, 
I just want to blend it out to that black there. A bit more. What are you doing? Thank you. Great. Now let's do that again. Down here. And it's kind of cool because the black is mixed with the green. I like it. It's looking good. I'm just going to use a little bit more of that green only just to blend that in a bit. Looks good. Looks good. Happy with that. And then turn it upside down. Go with the light green onto the black again so it needs a lot longer. I was just thinking you could probably put a little bit of clear on. Um, and it might make that transition a little bit quicker, I'm not sure. It does take a little while, doesn't it? <laughs> She's starting to look good, I agree. I do agree. Just waiting more, longer, 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 longer. That was on there for ages and uh, there was hardly any on it then. It doesn't matter. We can still see it. Let's try doing a bit of clear. So each of the markers has got a clear topper. So I'm just going to put clear on. But uh, it doesn't seem to be touching the topper. Oh, here we go. Try that again. Slowly, um, I've added that on. Let's try some green now although it's not touching it properly again I think I need to change the nib on this one let's try that see what happens that worked heaps better I had heaps more time before it turned black again so that was cool I just added a little bit of clear that worked well okay nope make missed a bit of top here there's black down in there it's actually still got a little bit of green so that worked out well Okay, Miss Witchy Poo, you have great looking clothes. Well done. Let's add all these back together so I know where I'm at. Back. All right, so she <laughs> needs some strange colored hair. She's looking a little black topper. I'm thinking we should just do black hair. Um, hmm. Let's just do black. No, it's just all. Um, yeah, we could do that. And we just make sure that we put some green at the bottom so it separates from her top. 
Um, so let's go back to black. Eh, can't open it. I'm just going to do it inside her mouth. It's looking rather scary opened mouth like that. Eyebrows. Ah, that's looking a little better. She looks scary, huh? Let's do some flicks of this one down. And let's swap and do green at the bottom. And in between. I might actually do green and yellow. So I've got uh, yellow marker which is uh, Y02 Malo yellow they call me yellow yellow and um, YG3 on top of the yellow and uh, let's mix that in together mm -hmm. I do like that good pick and I'll do yellow and green in the in her cauldron. So a mixture of both. Thanks, Abby. Hello, welcome. Bit of yellow coming through now. Probably had that on a little bit too long, but I quite like it. it. Looks good. I think I need a little bit more black at the top there, though. It's uh, too bright. Hello, Norwegian colors. So, I don't know your name. I just saw you there. Oh, you know what? Cha top chat party. Anyhow. A little bit more green. Because it's a darker colour going on to a lighter colour, you don't need to leave it on to get a little bit. Having a little bit lighter there worked well. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of black onto green. So many toppers, it's not funny. Black. Black onto green. So I can get a bit more of a blend out from that black into the green. Some of those areas were a little bit too harsh. And keep some of that yellow at the bottom there. Cool. Groovy, baby. We watched it on the weekend. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Green, black. Just putting everything away again just so I can see things. Um, otherwise, I'll get lost and I have no idea where I'm at. I don't know why I've got a blue one out. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't want to go back in their packet. Oh well. They can stay out. <laughs> they can stay out. 
All right. No, that's okay. It's funny. Uh... <laughs> you that short Rochelle <laughs> all right let's add some some you know stuff in here now I want to add a little bit of gray uh, underneath the thing here because that's where her dress is it might need to be darker than that hey I'm gonna do the uh, cool gray five still can be darker in some places you get the idea start hey, number C G eight. All right, we could add a little bit more of that really dark. Let's add some of that dark. This is a C G nine. Let's do that. It's actually her cape underneath there, but I want to add some light in there as well. So let's just do a bit of both. That'll do. That looks fine. All right. Um, now let's do a little bit of yellow and green in here. Yellow and green. Um, we'll add a little bit of just green, I think, to this one. Need a bit of that. What's this one? Let me look. I'm not saying the colours very well here. GR2. Bit of a mixture. We'll add a little bit of YG because we've got that in everything else. YG. And I want to add a bit of yellow in there too. So I'm just going to use that mellow yellow topper. Hi, Kimmy, welcome. Mellow yellow. Call me mellow yellow. Again. <laughs> oh, that didn't come out very well, did it? This time we'll swap. We'll do... Mellow yellow with green on top. You call me mellow yellow. Here we go. And I'm going to add the meadow green or spring green, spring meadow it's called, on top of it. Oh, that looks cool. It looks wavy. Got a bit of green and a bit of yellow. I know, it's stuck in my head too already, and I was the one who said it. <laughs> So let's do a mixture of green and yellow. Here we go.
I'm just going to mix it up like that. What is that? Smoke coming out of there? I don't know. Got waves of yellow with waves of green. <laughs> Someone brewed breadcrumbs. Is this for the witch, Mia? <laughs> so we can find our way home. You didn't miss much. Cheryl LaFond was asking, asking what? Did I miss something there too, I think? Oh, I left that one on a very long time. But that's fine. I didn't have a lot of green through there, so... It gave us a bit more green, didn't it? Looking cool. Looking cool. A bit more green. Maybe I could use some glitter on my witches. They don't use much glitter. It doesn't come out. When you take photos and things, it doesn't come out properly. A bit of a mix of yellow and green. I don't know what she's making. Yellow and green. Hmm. Maybe she's uh, wanting to go to Australia. <laughs> Sorry, the fat joke. Anyway. I'm not going to be streaming on... Um, on Monday next week I just I should tell you that Alicia has a competition in Ballarat we're staying in Ballarat for the weekend Heather we're coming near you Linda we're coming near you but not quite near you <laughs> just using black to do around the edges here and I'm gonna add some green to the top edge. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't have refills for these, so if it runs out, we're in big doo doos. <laughs> uh, we're going there only for um, 
for the competition, so. <laughs> so we're leaving on Saturday and we'll be, we're leaving to come home on Monday. And uh, the competition is on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, Linda. You know, what a pain, huh? <laughs> I think the last time we had Ballarat for Kelly was um, when, when the girls were little. It's been in Bendigo. It's been in Bendigo the last few times. Ba, 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 da. Actually, you know what? I think I did a Nathaniel Wake Witch with with the um <laughs> with these last time. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Ballarat last year, that's right. But the year before was Bendigo, yeah? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get creative with the uh, cauldron. And um, because my black's running out, Can you see that my black is running out. Yes, your black, you suck. <laughs> uh, I need refills, can't do anything. Okay, well the black's got to go away for a bit because I might need that for something else later. So we're going to get creative. Let's use some cool grey. Hi Donna, welcome. Use Copic. I might end up having to use Copic. But let's just go with grey for now. Cool grey. You know what, it's going to have a lot of uh, red through it anyway because we've got fire. So I think we'll be right. Alright, let's use... RD4 in the top bar on top of the CG9. I'm not going to use Copic yet. Just let me see if I can make something of this first. That's pretty cool, I have to say. But I like that. Oh, you can't see. Duh. Oh, okay, wait. Here we go. <laughs> that was the RD4, so that's crimson red on top of the cool grey 9. And uh, I'll have to do all one side of the flames 
first and then come back and do the other side when I turn it upside down. <laughs> I know you can't see I'm just you know doing a test Helen, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. I got a very blue personality, so that's kind of true. When I was doing uh, network marketing, this guy called uh, Jerry Clark, his name is, and uh, he talks about personality types in colours. And I'm a blue. Alright, I'm just going to turn it upside down. Hi, Cece, welcome. And uh, I'm going to do the other side of the flames. I think that's the plan anyway. Yeah, baby. That worked. <laughs> it's going to look messy, but that's okay because it's fire. It's not going to look, you know, tame and pretty. I know, um, Cab, they're really bad. <laughs> they took me ages uh, to get the hang of. I'm actually doing way quicker than the first time I tried them. Um, this is way quicker. But yeah, they do take a bit uh, to get used to. And they do take a bit of time. This poor cauldron. I think we're going to have to get black out of the Copics just so that we can uh, get this cauldron fixed up. It's going to look out of place, I think, if we can't put more black in there. I need more black underneath the the rim to uh, to get a bit of a shadow there. Can't do that with grey. Cool witch. No, well, promised Halloweeny. Which is a Halloweeny? and error didn't really work as well as I thought it would but that's all right oh good I'll get there <laughs> I'll get there eventually where is shadow shadow was being a pain and uh, 
<laughs> she went and hid in her room because she didn't like me telling her off. <laughs> She's having one of those days. She was being very, very noisy. Oh, it's gradually filling in. Gosh, it's taking forever. Who I, whose idea was it anyway? Oh yeah, that's right. It was mine. <laughs> it was my idea. <laughs> I have crazy ideas sometimes. Let's add some C C G eight. Into there. Fill in some gaps a bit. I'm going to grab a black Copic marker somewhere here. I'm going to add a bit more of a shadow under the rim here. Yes, I think we definitely needed that. Add a little bit more of a shadow on the side. a bit better and uh, just add a bit of C9 just to blend that out a little bit so much quicker than the, the other markers that's for sure but they do look cool Go back to C8. No, I don't have C8. C7. Let's blend that out. How much nicer does that look now? Alright. A bit of white in there. That was just white Prismacolor white pencil there. All right, let's grab that red again. RD four, and uh, I'm just gonna add in 
a little bit more on the outside here. The areas that I might have missed. I'm not gonna get this finished, am I? Let's use some orange. Um, gonna go with something burnt looking <laughs> tangerine and the. Actually, wait. I'm doing it around the wrong way again. Tangerine in the big marker. the RD4 crimson red on top. Oh, I've missed everything. What's happening? Oh, mum. Okay. <laughs> That's so good. better. I probably left that on there a little bit too long. Darker and a lighter. It's hard to get them on and off. <laughs> on, off. On. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you. These two are really hard working together. These two. This red and orange don't like working together they keep telling me off <laughs> let's tie mr wolf half an hour I just keep turning my page so that um, I get a bit of red on both sides of the flame. Sometimes I do it and heaps of red comes out. And sometimes I do it and no red comes out. It's not touching, that's why. back on this side I'm just filling that in a bit more hi Grace 
nice and welcome. I really like that mix of uh, red and orange through there. That looks really cool. I know, and it's starting to hurt my hands now. I'm getting, because I had that trigger finger thing again last week. So um, I haven't got a lot of strength in my hands this week. So uh, it is taking a little bit out of me. But that's my fire done. So, oh, wait, we'll do a bit of a mix up here in this corner. That's good. Make sure my marker was cleaned off there. Yeah, those two didn't like each other together. They kind of freaked out a bit. It hurt my hand. Oh, well. Not to worry. I've missed a... Thing here let's do a little bit of the yellow get a bit of green in there um, I think we need a little bit of green on these edges Kind of green poofy smoke stuff. I think um that should be black. See I knew I'd need it again. Just in there. Just a bit of yellow in here. I might use the colorless one with a little bit of the um, YG3. I feel that came out really quickly, that did, but I just want to lighten it off as I come down. it out a little bit. Kind of looks a little bit um, yellow, lighter. Yeah, she looks like she might be up to mischief. No good. This witchy boo. <laughs> That's okay. Do you think she needs like red eyes? I think she needs red eyes. She reminds me of the witches in um, the movie Hansel and Gretel. The adult Hansel and Gretel, that is. <laughs> the one with Jeremy Renner and I don't remember the other chickie's name. She reminds me of someone, but I don't know any. Hmm, just blended it off a little bit, but it's not, still not what I'm thinking. So I'm going to add yellow, of course. Well, there is yellow in there, but I think it needs to be a brighter yellow this time. I think I need to go brighter. Let's have a look. Let's see. Why... L2 summer sun. Let's try that. Oh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Mm. 
with the green. What's happening, Linda? Who are we talking about? What, who's sick? Who, who's got a temperature? I don't like it. I don't like not knowing. <laughs> I'm a shocker. I just need to know. Don't be right back. Tell me first. No, no go. Just in case it is important. I don't want to, you know. <laughs> but then you have to come back and tell me. I'm just going to add a bit of this in here. Yeah, I definitely like that brighter yellow. Looks so much better. Taking too long. I'm over it already. I'm having a tantrum right now and um, I've got 20 minutes left and I bet I can finish it in 20 minutes with Copix and uh, it'll look awesome. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cracking the poops. <laughs> I'm over it. Bring back my markers, baby. Using a bit of YG twenty one. Using a little bit of YG thirteen, and I'm just going to go and put a glow on the trees over the top here in the back. So those highlight sections of the tree. On the blackbirds, on the bottom of them and on the bottom of their beaks, because their beaks would be sticking out further, anywhere that is going to be highlighted. Yeah, my hands are killing me now. That was just crazy. What crazy idea was that? <laughs> Whose crazy idea was that? Yeah. 
And look at that, 20 minutes tops. Haunted Mansion, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I'm just going to add some of that in there too so it doesn't look like it doesn't match. It doesn't go well together. Yeah, I think I could go a little bit brighter in the green. So let's try uh, YG06. That's a bit better. It's a bit better that much. It's not quite as bright, is it? It's okay. Doesn't matter. We figured it out. I think it's pretty good. I think we're getting close. <laughs> we're getting close. Now we're even closer. Got some E seventy nine just on the darker side of the tree. I'm actually going to make that fairly dark in the background there, so we'll go back over with some um, black or something. Uh, e77. Sorry guys, I'll zoom out. Here you go. Now I'm concentrating because I want to finish it. another tree just there possibly we're making it a tree I don't care if it's not <laughs> and uh, E74 hi Sylvie welcome welcome
No, I didn't mean to go over those sparkles. Oh well, we'll have to lighten them up with a bit of um, Posca pen. Okay, now um, I wanted to look kind of rough looking, but um, I just wanted to put a little bit of that through there. In the background, let's do W9 for these really dark back trees here. Um, which would be here. This one here I started to colour but I realised that it's actually behind. That one's behind. So this is W9 behind. So these are going to be way darker. That's pretty good. Hi Elaine, hi anyone here. You think you scared him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and I went and Linda did too actually we got our our um certificate well I got my double one um I've got this is um BV29 yeah that's good I'm going to do this in the back background here. I picked a purple colour because I think it will go well with the yellow and the green there. Gone from being daylight to being nighttime. How cool is that? It happened so quickly. The sun went down, everything went gloomy and uh, dark. You can really see the glow on the trees now. I've started to add that in. It's kind of cool what you can do, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Sylvie.
Now school holidays is over now. Kids are back at school. I'm running out of um <laughs> I'm running out of marker here. Squeak, squeak, squeak. This bit here, I think we need to do dark too, but let's do it a really dark green. What have I got? Uh, YG99, don't have a refill for. Get over that pretty quick, won't we? G99. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is going to run out pretty quick because it's a... Um, Chow, and uh, it already feels like it might be slightly dry so I'm going to have to refill this one bummer It. I've got like six minutes to go. Hi Joey, welcome. I <laughs> I could probably go over time. My um lunch date cancelled, so oh, and I just made a mess because I took it out with my fingers because I don't know where my little tweezers are. Last time I used my markers, they disappeared. Alright. Oh man, my nib's wet. My nib's all sticky and weird. <laughs> Come on, why is it when you've got a time limit that stuff happens? It's really annoying. get that off my hands too because it's dirty. Okay. I just needed to clean my nib a little bit. Try that. That's better. It was a bit dirty. When the nibs get dirty, they get sticky. And uh, the ink doesn't want to come out properly. Sometimes you can't even get rid of the stickiness even after you've cleaned it too. I've had to replace a couple of nibs like that that have just gone a bit yucky. And I've uh, not been able to clean it off enough. Big fairy, like a fairy that brings you copics. Yeah, <laughs> is that what you mean? 
How do you mean to color a fairy with the Copix? You know, I was going to color the rest of that season of the witch image with um, <laughs> with chameleons, but I've changed my mind already. We have birds and uh, I need to put a little bit of BV25 just behind here. That's good. You can see the tree behind that one. Uh, ooh, okay, eyes. Um, I actually think we might do uh, some purple because it will stand out. Yeah, that's good. Purple was good. Um, white. I'm just using my white gel pen to lighten up these little diamonds and I'm just adding a couple more in there to add to the sparkles in the background. Do some blackbirds top of the bird I'm doing with black. down because I want to add in a little bit of grey so that uh, it looks like it fades out to the green and I think we will give these crows some um, some red eyes I think that will look good They almost look like seagulls. Ah, uh, zero eight. really see their eyes but they're red. <laughs> you 
to the yellow beaks. All right, we used a little bit of the YG06 just to brighten up the green before. Just doing that now. And a little bit of C7. Just covering up the white space in the bird and coming down into that light area. I'm not going to try to blend it because it won't blend. have some stars I'm done let's do some oh we missed a bit in the background there This is a Posca pen. So what is she doing? What what why why is she conjuring green and yellow mist here? That evil look in her eyes. <laughs> I don't think she knows what she's doing. Do a couple of shooting stars, maybe one down there. And uh, a couple of like specks of, I don't know, dust or maybe it's just magic in the background there. Maybe they're little bugs or fireflies. I don't know. Just looking kind of magic.
bit of black. Oh, we need some sparkles down here. I've got red, orange, and yellow. We need to add a little bit of white in there too. That's better. A little bit lighter than the pencil. Need some contrast. This is where we get it. <laughs> Now I'm done. So I'll crop it all and uh, print it out. I'll print it out, scan it up so you can see it. Thank you very much for watching. And um, sorry that I had the change, the time has changed. Um, but being daylight savings here, it's going to be this time every week, except next week. I won't be here next week. Uh, don't forget, I am going to be away. But I will see you on Friday before then. So. Uh, I'll remind you then but um I'm done so don't forget if you want to grab the books I've got a couple of links here this one was from the mythical forest Nathaniel Wake and the other one that I did flip through was legends of the wild which had the human like animals in warrior outfits and also the Jane Davenport one what is it called wild pop that up there too no problems guys thank you so much for watching and um this one won't be going in my coven unfortunately but uh, i'll keep these posted on my coven as well and post them up as i do them and i will see you on friday for more of jenny lewin's beautiful halloween cat <laughs> thanks guys thank you so much bye all thank you